this painting is of Dr. Catherine Hamlin. Uh, she is an amazing Australian. Um, Catherine has spent, or Dr. Hamlin has spent her entire life uh, assisting the women of Ethiopia, um, or at least those who have um, birth injuries. Um, and she repairs the fistulas of women in Ethiopia. And she has dedicated her life to this. We had this uh, sitting and um, she turned up in this skirt. <laughs> <laughs> which was my first thought was, oh my goodness, she's wearing a check skirt, that's going to be interesting to paint. And, um, and then she said, or she and her, um, you know, another a co a colleague was talking about the blankets that, um, you know, said, well, I'd like to put this blanket in the, in the painting. And this blanket that she's um, sitting with is um, a blanket that's knitted by volunteers, a lot of them here in Australia, who knit the squares and they put them together. And a blanket is given to every one of her patients when they come through the hospital. She, you know, she makes such a difference to the lives of the women in Ethiopia. Many of them, their lives are totally destroyed and she basically restores their health, enables many of them to be able to go ahead and have more babies in the future. Um, but she gives these blankets, as I said, to every single woman and they're very treasured. Um, and this one has the Ethiopian flag in a, in a little panel here at the, at the front. Um, yeah, she's an amazing woman and I feel really, really honoured to have had the opportunity to meet her and to, um, to paint her portrait. This is a portrait of Lois Gresta. Um, Lois is the mother of Peter Gresta and Peter was incarcerated in a jail in Egypt for 400 days, um, recently been released and he's become quite well known for his um, efforts for free speech around the world. But Lois and her husband Eurus um, were really incredible parents. They were part of an incredible family who worked very hard to free Peter. Um, and I felt uh, that as a woman and as a mother, I really resonated with um, you know, how Lois felt about wanting to rescue her son. And so I asked, could I paint her portrait? Lois was very um, emotional, very distressed when, uh, you know, she, when Peter was in, incarcerated. It was a, a time for her whole family where they were traveling back backwards and forwards from Egypt, uh, you know, they were literally taking food to him in prison. They didn't know how long he was going to be there. They were juggling the political system and the, and of, of Egypt. It was a very distressing time for her. When I started the process of this painting, she had no idea how long it would take for Peter to be released from jail, whether he was going to be there for seven years or whether they were going to get him out. So she was very distressed. She was very sad. It was a very difficult time of her life. And I really wanted to portray that. Um, I feel that, you know, in the way that I've presented this painting, it's she's kind of locked up in her own little environment, in her own room, it's sort of waiting, it's a waiting for Peter um, type of painting. The tiny little clock that you can see, she stands in front of her bedroom and as you look back into the composition, there's a little clock there. The time on the clock is the time that Peter, she found out that Peter was in, incarcerated, so that's a sort of a significant time. Um, you know, I guess the whole concept of the mirror in the background, um, you know, she's reflecting on all that's happening. Uh, you know, there's the little door that's, that's almost open. It's sort of hoping for that door to be opened. It's got all of those little sort of symbols in the painting that uh, tell her story, but in a, in a very quiet way.